Steve lives here, far from his favorite fishing spot, which is down the road, but he loves to fish. However, he hates this walk. Instead, Steve decides to use the two ender pearls it takes to get over there, leaving him fishing with half health and having to visit his ender pearl farm all the time. So here's our question. How do we get Steve to walk? In the real world, when people have a similar problem, instead of using ender pearls, they use cars. Using cars inherently creates traffic, and with too much traffic, the roads become boring at best and deadly at worst. So many modern city planners have been trying to figure out ways to get people out of their cars and onto the sidewalk. One of the most notable names in this movement is Jeff Speck, author of the New Urbanist's Bible, Walkable City. In this case, we will use Speck's general theory of walkability to transform this sample street into a version that Steve will not only choose over his ender pearls, but absolutely love to walk down. In his book, Speck presents four boxes a street must check to be attractive to potential pedestrians, each idea building upon the previous one and must occur simultaneously. Let's start here. Number one. The walk should be useful. I should clarify that this doesn't just mean that the walk provides a path from point A to point B. Yes, that is a use, but think about what else could go along this road. We could have more homes, allowing for more residents to move in and create a community with Steve. We could have shops or storage rooms, so Steve could pick up some extra food or a new fishing rod on his way to or from his destination. Or, secret third option, we could do both. Having shops along the bottom floors of these buildings at street level and having the upper floors be residential simultaneously creates an economy and community along the same street. Yes, the street connects Steve to the fishing spot, but now it does so much more. Number two, the walk should be safe. In Minecraft, the threats are mostly found in the dark. So properly lighting the street is critical to ensuring Steve's safety as he walks to go fishing, especially at night. So I designed these simple lampposts and placed them throughout the road, making sure that there were no areas dim enough for mobs to spawn. However, this is a multiplayer server. And now and again, Alex comes over to kill Steve and steal his fish. There's a guard nearby, but he doesn't hear the commotion and doesn't know to come over and save Steve. To prevent this, I placed these emergency stations where Steve could set off a firework to alert the guards when Alex attacked. Now, since Steve is just a button prince away from safety, he's not scared of Alex anymore. Number three, the walk should be comfortable. This idea is rooted in our animalistic, evolutionary feelings of comfort. Speck argues that we feel most comfortable when our flanks are covered and we can see ahead of us in case a predator attacks. Here, the ratio of our street and building height is reasonable, and our goal is to create what he describes as an outdoor living room, or a space that is comfortably contained on all sides. For this video, we're not gonna fully encase the road just so we can still film it properly, but ideally we'd recreate the same sort of builds mirrored on this side. However, the front and end of this street give us a view into the vast emptiness of this super flat world, so Steve feels like some walls to his proverbial living room are missing. To solve this, let's add a curve to the road, another building, and some extra trees over by the fishing hole to help close up the environment. There we go. Those sight lines are closed up, and Steve is feeling much better. Number four, the walk should be interesting. Hopefully, this is self-explanatory. Now that our street is useful, safe, and comfortable, let's spruce it up with some decorations, art, color, greenery, and all sorts of details that Steve can admire and enjoy on his way to go fishing. This is perfect. Now we have a very interesting road. So this is our new street, revolutionized by Jeff Speck's general theory of walkability. And look, there's Steve, probably about to go to his fishing spot. Huh, there he goes. I guess he left his ender pearls at home. If you liked this video, you should definitely like and subscribe, but also you'll be happy to know you can join me as I build an entire nation using these principles. On Stoneworks, a world building geopolitics server, IP is play.stoneworks.gg, I've founded a nation called Las Vidas that you can join using the Discord link in the description. You can be part of a better Minecraft. Be part of Las Vidas. The choice, is simple.